Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL and welcome to episode 17 of the Tropical Fruit Gardening TV series. And in today's episode, we're asking to be at our farm in Puerto Gorta. Now there's a lot of things that have been going on. All my plants have been growing very well. And actually in Florida, we are just leaving the rainy season now. So it's gonna be very dry everywhere. So it's now it's very important that I keep these trees watered because after all, they are tropical fruit trees. And some of them, if not most of them, love to have some sort of water so so as you can see right here is an example of how the trees are growing this is actually a harvest moon mango tree that i planted here and as you see it's already pushing out with new flushes of growth after i tipped it so i'm very happy that this fruit tree is just growing mangoes in this case love to grow in florida soil so this is just a mango that was ready to grow and you know it loves the soil here in Punta Gorda at my farm so I'm just happy that it's it's already growing like this and very strong. So this is something that I've been doing recently to all my fruit trees. I've been mulching them very well and basically using the, the leaves off the oak trees that are just above. As you see they just all fall here naturally and then I'm just um, breaking them up in here. Now this is actually a gift from Atemoya and Atemoyas are one of my favorite fruit. They're a cross between a uh, sugar apple and cherry moya. And as you see, the atemoya is actually pushing out very strong new growth. It's actually a spider that I have to knock off because that's not good. But anyways, this one's doing really well. And I just recently planted a dream atemoya. Now dream is another variety that is very good. And as you see, it's a little bit discoloration, but it's gonna be pushing out strong uh, just because I recently just planted it in here. And this area I'm just transforming into a little flower slash useful herb and um, you know useful tree this is actually the michelle alba now the michelle alba is actually a fragrant flower this was used to make the chanel 5 perfume way back in the day but it's just such a beautiful flower very fragrant if you guys can smell this it literally smells like a perfume woman's perfume just very attractive and um you know i just see here is it a, here it is about to bloom so I, I really like this Michelle Alba right here. All along here, I'm also planting some other fruit trees that could be very beneficial. As you see here is a Barbados cherry. And uh, there's more in here that I ate earlier, so. Now this is actually my back area of my farm. So I have some fruit trees that I really like back here. One of them is my Barbados cherry, which I've been posting a lot about just because how much I love this fruit and Next to it is actually a neem tree, which is also doing very well. I can't wait for this one to be able to use this one for natural pesticides and, um, you know, everything. Natural fertilizers too. Guavas that I planted that are going to be pushing out. This is actually um, a blimby. And if you guys know what blimbies are, they're in the same family as star fruit. And they're apparently very sour. And I really like sour fruits, so like this. Mm. This is my Alano Sapodia or Nisporo is what we would call it in my language. Now these lines also too are just a lot of twigs and I'm gonna be putting a lot of you know leaves, decomposing material. This is uh, Malik's Sapodia. As you see it's putting on new growth, looks really good right there. And our sugar cane that we have planted in the ground, we have about 10 varieties of sugar cane around the farm. Those all seem to be doing very well as, as well. And just going around here, as you can see, I have just all sorts of mangoes. This is a ugly Betty, very small. And uh, this one is, is actually Kyo Savoy, uh, Thai green mango. Very delicious when you eat it green, crunchy. And this is a dwarf wine mango. It's very tiny. Dwarf. As you see from the other day, my cuttings that I put in the ground for the Mexican sunflower are already taking. This is why I really love this flower because it is very fast at reproducing. Look at that, already reproducing. So this is the back section, how it looks like so far. As you see, it's gonna be changing all throughout, you know, the years, the months, the weeks, as I just keep adding more and more. So it's a new day actually, and it rained last night. So I'm here back at the farm the next morning and I'll show you. Uh, and the entrance is very 
very filled with water but it's no worries because some of these plants that are put by it actually love this so as you see it's still a very beautiful day at the farm that's why i love coming here you know i have days after it rains because you see everything the way it grows just so fast and you also get to see you know what you know what's growing actually where it's at and what's not growing where it's at so this is when i walk in okay things are looking really nice this is my nursery area i really like how this area looks and wow oh something was running across the water i think it was a lizard but wow guys everything is actually looking really good like i said this is how the water collects right here and so as you see the water collects in these areas in the middle of my property but as you see i plant other uh fruit trees like this is a obviously a, this is a sugar apple and the sugar apples love to be planted next to a body of water they really benefit to being planted near water and as you see my other plants like the banana and the that banana is also going to really love being by the water now it's all about planting certain species that won't be affected by standing water because there are some plants that and fruit trees that do get really upset if you have this amount of water uh, for example papaya is something that you can't really plant in this type of area you can't like for example you cannot plant a papaya right here the papaya would already be dead But look, as you see right here in the middle, I just have a bunch of mangoes, just like my house. <laughs> I have a bunch of things just sprouting up. This is actually a mam mamoncillo. This is a jackfruit, another mango. As you see, that's actually a jackfruit skin, still from a last jackfruit. And look, <laughs> jackfruit skin, and then you see the, the jackfruit baby right there. So cool. And right here, I just wanted to show you really quick. These are pumpkin seeds because it is October here. As you know, pumpkin season is around. So I have, uh, you know, a lot of pumpkin seeds that I got and just threw all over my yard. I'm actually gonna cut this papaya open. This papaya is a little bit overripe, but I'm so hungry and I really wanna eat it because the bugs are eating it before I do. So I just want to really open this up. And I wish I had my juicer. I love to make juices with it. Ay, mire, mire, que lindo. Yes, throw the seed. <laughs> and throw the seed because we'll get papaya growing everywhere in the future. You see, we can just scoop the seeds out like that. Guys, and see this? 
this the papaya I like it like this one more when it's all yellow because mm. you can just eat it like that mm. a lot of people don't like papaya but this pie is actually really good when you're really hungry and you want fruit you can settle for this Mm. It's very good. We'll save these seeds for another part of the farm. Thank you guys so much for watching episode 17 of the Tropical Fruit Gardening TV series. If you would like to see more of a certain fruit tree or of a certain fruit, please let me know in the comments, you know, and I would definitely record more of whatever fruit tree or fruit that you would like to see. I would love to, you know, interact with you guys and give you what you want to see. So guys, thank you so much. I hope you really love how my tropical fruit garden is turning. Like I said, everything is growing so fast and I just couldn't be more happy today. Today is actually my 23rd birthday. Now I'm turning 23 years old and I'm just so proud to be able to grow with, you know, such a tropical fruit uh, forest at such a young age, you know, and I just know, you know, by the time I'm 30, 25, whatever, by the time I'm old, old man, I'll have all the fruits I can ask for in my life. So I'm just so happy to be documenting this and I'm so happy to bring you along this journey with me. It is a beautiful journey and I sure have so much fruits and stuff to share with you. So thank you guys for watching again. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye bye now and see you soon.